Hello, this is the Watch Dog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today, we're going to review the Bin Bomb B0135. Or is it the Bin Bomb B0233? Let's start out with the wrist check. I'm wearing this Begani Design PD 1685. That's a really nice looking watch. I just unboxed it. So if you haven't seen my unboxing video yet, go see it. And Grego is wearing my Bin Bomb B0233. Which looks just like my Bim Bom B0135 that I'm reviewing. I'm so confused. Grego said that now that the Empire has fallen, Naboo has resumed electing teenage girls to be queen again since teenage girls know everything. Palpatine had the old throne room destroyed, so they asked the new queen if she want, needed a new pedestal and throne. She said, go ahead, make my dais. Alright, let's take a look at the watch. It didn't come in a box. This watch is ultra affordable and ultra affordable watches rarely come in box. And if they do, they're such a simple box, why even bother? But here it is. I've had this Bim Bomb for quite a while, but put off reviewing it for several reasons. The first reason is that it came on the same hollow fake H-Link bracelet that the current 8439 came on. So I wanted to see if I could find a strap that would fit it. This, this does not have the typical links of a Royal Oak, so a Royal Oak compatible strap was not an option. So I did try a Patek Nautilus compatible strap with good results, and I will show you later. Then the second reason is that when I went to check on the AliExpress specifications, this model, the B0135, was unavailable, and I didn't want to review a watch that you cannot purchase. Then I found the B0233 that looks very similar to the B0135, so I decided it might be worth my effort to order the B0233 as the ads showed some colorways with a different bracelet and also I could review a watch that was actually available. If you saw my recent unboxing, you will see that the B0233 is identical to the B0135 and came with the same fake H-Link bracelet, so I don't know where the other bracelet in the ad came from. But you're going to have to assume you will get the fake H-Link if you order the B0233. This watch comes in three other colorways, including an all-black version. If you don't want an all-black, you can stick with steel tone with either black or white dials. Personally, I prefer blue, but you knew that. This is a big watch, so it measures 43.5 millimeters at the flats of the bezel. 49 millimeters lug to lug. It's 11.6 millimeters thick. And the lug width does not apply, but it's 26 millimeters where the bracelet meets the case. And it weighs 144 grams on the supplied bracelet with four links removed. So at least the bracelet's plenty long. The bezel has the vertical brushing of a typical watch of this style. And then it does have these screws and it I'm sure the screws are just decoration, but I think they actually turn because as you can see, they're not actually lined up. So if they were just engravings in the bezel, they would all be lined up, but they're not. And then if you look at the sides of the bezel, it looks like we have a chamfered edge there. And then the dial, we have a nice waffle pattern. I think the dial is pretty good for the money. Then we have the Bin Bon name up top. Then we have quartz on the bottom. And this is indeed a quartz watch. And then we have the uh, applied loomed indices. And you'll see the loom later. It's not very good. And then we have the loom stick hands or loom fence post hands. And then we have a arrow tip second hand that seems to miss the marks. Uh, it hits them now and then. Well, it depends what angle you're looking at. It's not bad enough where you would be annoyed by it. Then we have a date at the three and no Cyclops, which is fine. And then, of course, we have minute markers. Then we have a unsigned push-pull crown, and it's a hexagon shape. That's a nice touch. A lot of cheap watches in this price range Homaging this particular watch do not have hexagon crowns, so that's good. The crown actually doesn't feel really loose, but when you go to set it, let's see if we have that annoying minute hand jump. Uh, no, it didn't jump, so that's good. No annoying minute hand jump. 
Of course, you have to be careful. I mean, it's not going to be super like you can just press it as hard as you want and not expect anything. You just have to be careful when you push it. And then we have a flat mineral glass crystal. You're not going to get sapphire in this price. And then we have the case. And as you can see, the case is a coated alloy. This is not, or plated alloy. This is not steel. You're not going to get steel in this price usually either. And this end link here is part of the case. This engraving here is fake. It's, it does not articulate at all. Then we have a press on case back. We got the Bain Bond name and logo. Then it says base metal bezel. Then it says 30 meters, 100 feet water resistance. So you just get the bare minimum. And as you can see, I scratched up the case back pretty good. I don't know how I did that. Then underneath the case back, I don't know the movement. It's Chinese, it's quartz, and it's cheap. And I didn't feel like popping the case back to find out. Because usually when I do, you don't see a model number anyway. If you care enough about the movement, you're probably not buying this watch. The bracelet is a single link that's meant to look like an H-link. These are engravings in the link. It's not a H link. And it's hollow. And we do have push pin adjusters. And I don't know what it was about this one, but it was really a pain to push out the push pins. I had to really pound hard on them. And then we have a butterfly clasp and no half links. So getting the perfect fit is going to be difficult. And this is a big watch. It's 144 grams. So it's not exactly light. Even though it's got hollow links. And once again, I just don't like this bracelet at all. Here is the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. As you can see, it's a big watch, but it does wear nice. And I removed four links to fit on my wrist and it looks like I did get a good fit. So the butterfly clasp and lack of half links didn't really affect me, but it might affect you. Here is the watch on a leather strap. Now, doesn't that look so much better? This strap was designed for Patek Nautilus. As you can see, it fits it just fine. So you should be able to get a strap that's designed for a Nautilus. Now, one thing to mention though, the pin holding the strap on, there's nothing really holding the pin inside other than friction. So I would imagine uh, for safety reasons, you'd probably want to put a little Loctite in when you pr press the pin in to, just to keep the pin from ever coming out. Because once again, there's nothing holding it in just because of the design. But if you end up losing this watch, it's a $10 watch. So it's not going to be a total tragedy. But yeah, it looks so much better on a strap than that crappy bracelet. Here we are in the loom room. Just wearing the watch for review purposes. I couldn't even tell that the watch had loom. So this test is going to be a test of futility. As we speed up the time, the hands are already gone. This is about as bad as possible. The indices are a tiny bit better, but it does no good to see the indices without hands. Somehow the indices seem to barely hold on that last little glow longer than they should, but it's really bad loom. What do I like about this watch? Well, I do like this blue waffle dial. I think it looks pretty nice. 
I like the fact that it has a hexagon crown. That's a pretty good touch for this type of homage. And the bracelet, even though I don't like it, is plenty long. So it'll fit large wrist. What are my gripes and groans? Fake H-link hollow bracelet with a butterfly clasp and no half links. And just god-awful horrible hand loom. It disappears immediately. Do I recommend this watch? I'm going to say the same thing I said about the current 8439. I like the watch head, but I hate the bracelet. So I would only recommend this watch if you're willing to put it on a strap. And once again, you can make a strap designed for a Nautilus work. Well, thank you for watching my review of the Bimbom B0135, or is it the B0233? And I will be back with another review. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.